this week. Yeah. Um, well, did you feel like you had a low number coming today? Feel like it set up pretty well for you? Um, yeah, definitely. The greens are really, really nice. Um, and it was definitely scorable. Um, soft conditions. My game felt good. Um, the last round, or the day before, um, my game felt really good. I just couldn't make the putts. And um, played basically the same kind of golf and made a lot of putts. So Yeah, what was really clicking for you when you had that run of, of birdies coming around the turn? Um, just putting. I mean, I would hit it, you know, rough, close, close to the hole. I mean, within 20 feet and then every, every putt would drop. So that's kind of... That was a game changer. Yeah, you, did you feel like that birdie putt you hit on nine kind of sparked that? that mm -hmm. Yeah, you? definitely. I actually, I think what actually kind of motivated me to really start to get going was hole eight. I was in the middle, great drive, middle of the fairway, you know, only 160, 170 out, and um, I kind of squandered a shot and then almost three putted. But um, so that kind of got me geared up to really go on that run. Did you know what was at stake on those last two putts with the individual and the, and the team race? Um, not really, but I knew that I kind of had to make the putt. I mean, if it was to either retire, fortunately didn't. But, um, yeah, I was definitely, you know, feeling the intensity. When you're locked in like that, Casey, he's hanging around, but he said he just kind of lets you play. He's just there for, for support. What's the relationship like when between the two of you when you're locked in like that? Yeah, I mean, he definitely just tries to add um, as much help as he can. He doesn't try to in interfere. I think he kind of learned that last year, um, and I'm learning as I learned as well that he just kind of we both want the best benefits for, for both of us. Um, so last year it was it was a little bit more interfering, and I would you know kind of push him off sometimes. But now it's very very mutual, and and I ask him for help. You know, he he asked me. This, he asked me if I need help, so it's very, we're on the same page now. What are your goals for this season, and where do you feel like you are on that progression now? Um, well, one of my goals was to win this tournament, which I, which I did. Um, I think this tournament's going to be a really good um, kind of kickstart to the end of the spring. Um, I never really play that great at the end of fall or the beginning of winter, um, so I think now I... I'm starting to, you know, kind of warm up and play really solid golf. Yeah. Is it all kind of building toward the, the NCAAs? Is yeah, that the, definitely. the big yeah, thing? Yeah, that is end? definitely the goal. Um, Casey definitely emphasizes that a lot. Is we, we kind of try to iron out all the all the simple stuff in the beginning and then really start trying to compete in the last couple of tournaments, you know, getting ready for conference and regionals. Gearing up for this tournament, you know, talking about the preparation for it, what what needed to, to click in general, you know, to, to kind of get you motivated or not motivated, but get you going again? Um, I don't know. I think one thing that really helped was this is our home course, and I've played enough rounds. Um, last year, I I actually felt like I didn't get enough rounds in, and then when competition hit, it, I felt very um, uncomfortable. But this year, I, I was much more comfortable, more rounds in, and... Um, I mean, yeah. Casey also said that, you know, when you're playing like you were today, the, the game looks effortless. Does it feel effortless to you or does it feel, how does it feel? When yeah, it definitely does. I mean, it's, it's always, there's always a level of intensity and kind of anxiety. But, um, you know, when the putts are dropping and when you're hitting it where you're supposed to, um, it gets a lot less stressful. How difficult is it to know where you are on, on the leaderboard? I mean, are you checking your phones? Are you checking the scores? Are you, are you texting people? What's going on? Um, to be quite honest, I was very kind of in the zone. And um, I knew I was playing well to where I actually had no idea almost even what the guys were doing in my group. Um, so I just tried to stay in that zone as for as long as I could um, because most of the times when you know I look at the leaderboard or you know something interferes with my emotions and my focus then I kind of start hopping out of that zone. Where do you feel like you guys are as a team or are there some other guys you feel like are close to, to clicking? Um, you know I think we're still learning. Um, I think a lot the two freshmen had what kind of I experienced last year. Um, they kind of had an expectation of this course and then um, it didn't turn out for what they how they expected but I think they're still learning um I mean I know we definitely do have the game but we just we just need to bring it out somehow and we just gotta keep battling and competing